Shalom Yeshurala, Kal Halal Yahweh, Baha Sham Yahweh Shai, Baha Sham Raka Kadash. We give double honors to the apostles and prophets and the elders of the members of the GMS camp, but now it's great men, so if we bring for this 100% truth. Right? So, you start now this, le this lesson today, we're going to, going to be as well um, herbs, because then uh, I have two people ask what today I gave by the name of Kathy. And, uh, um, on, what can I can't remember her name. Loretta, Loretta, basically. Okay, Loretta. She asked, um, well, them watching the situation, them watching the signs that were going on, them watching Israel. And what was mentioned, what was talked about was basically just now as the military kind of begin to wage the war, they're going to be, be pulling back their resources, right? And third world countries like us, which are in Trinidad, will feel effects from it. Because when you really watch the scenes, um, we kind of turned away from um, self-sustainability through um, natural resources and started to kind of um, lean more on the, uh, on the worldly products. So now that they, are, they may be putting their um, resources back away to, to assist in their war, uh, what, whenever that takes place, we asked will be to catch. So she was asking, that means, um, well, what was mentioned is that means they might even cut down the pharmaceutical industry um, as well, which in reality, it's a very possible thing. Very, very possible thing. But reality is I don't, I don't lean on pharmaceuticals. So she asked, basically, um, what would be like herbs that you could keep? Like to keep yourself, your body in order and, and, and so on, so that you would not be getting... Um, <clears throat> And she would not how to put fall sick during these times. And what I tell her was simply fear Yahweh. <laughs> fear Yahweh and you will get wisdom and understanding of many of these things. So, but um I just want to do a video today concerning these herbs that you can receive, that you can get. So before we start, let me get this precept and then we get the um we get the track out. So it says wisdom is a principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding, right? So now, like, go down. I want to, I want to go straight to the Ecclesiasticus, chapter 38, and verses um, 4, it says, which put it into the lesson. The Lord, had the Lord had created medicine out of the earth, and he that is wise will not abhor them, Right? So, um, I'm going to deal with a few herbs today. One being Cordoncio Negro because this is grown in South America, North America, the Caribbean, um, matter of fact, almost all over the world. I'll be honest with you, of course. Not too much cool pieces to be exact. So, I want to kind of get into that one time. Right? Um, I'm get them. I think I have open WhatsApp. Right here, especially. So, this is we know as Cordoncio Negro. Um, what I would do is, like I said, I know I promised to go in the wilderness and share all certain herbs that you can see, you can literally go outside and get from the, um, that will be more or less in certain parts of the world. Um, but this is Cordoncio Negro. This is what it looks like. I will get a clear picture and I go on, on, on Google just now. Um, this packs a punch and herbs in a lot of um, nutrients to be exact. Let me see what I did. Look, basically, it's a rough, um, rough skin. It looks smooth. But when you when I touch it, it rough to the touch. And it smells like a spice kind of um like a spice, like dill or, 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 or a yeah, mild basil, you know? Something like that. Um well I could see it better here. This is a this as a scene here, electric herb. Trust and believe it is. Um now let me give it let me wait some of the benefits for you one time. Let me show you all. Uh So with that with that being said, let me go into the current negro before you go into others. This is a herb that when you see it, you'll pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. Don't stop picking it. If you can't get it, I will show you the others that you can receive. Cordon Cordon Cio Negro. Uh I don't know why I'm so good with speaking um pronouncing these words. And then I can't pronounce English words, imagine that. Anyways, <coughs> let me not let me not and not bash yourself here today. So, Corinthia Negro uh, is a very, very, very good plant. This plant um, gets rid of majority of your diseases, to be exact. Mucus, it excretes mucus from your nose, and this is off of my 
off of what I have done, my, off of my test subjects, as well as off of myself. I have used Quadrantio Negro multiple times in the past, and every time I would use it in the night, I would get up in the morning, and there would be a bunch of loose mucus running out of my nostrils. So much it is literally run on its own. It had to actually get a cloth to hold it. That's how good Quadrantio Negro is. When you're done, if you, if you ever had head cold, you drink Quadrantio Negro for two to three weeks, and your entire head cold will be gone. It will run it out until there's nothing more. In there, I just being I'll be a hundred percent check because this is this is uh, this is has taken place with me. So when you go into the effect effectiveness effective against um, bronchitis, conjunctivitis, cuts, big um wood um <clears throat> flu, gastrointestinal um issues, wood, herpes, insect bite, kidney stones, liver disease um wood or herpes um piles as well as you know as hemorrhoids. Um, pneumonia, respiratory disease, snake bite, stomach, you hear that? Snake bite, stomach aches, tonsillitis, urinary problems or urinary tract infections to be exact because it's on the next side as well. Um, uterine bleeding, uh, uh, with low, uh, I don't know what that is. I would look up even if it's chlorella, um, constipation, and the list goes on. It even, as you can see, gonorrhea, ingestion, heavy menstrual. Uh, you know, nosebleed, peptic ulcers, uh, the list literally goes on. So, syphilis, se it marks sexual, sexual transmitted diseases, mm -hmm. rectal inflammation. Yeah, and when you go further, here it says, uh, action of the cholesterol negative, most common for what? Antibacterial, and anti emetic, anti inflammatory, antiviral. This when it when it when you really get that understanding, anti fungal anti catarahal okay, don't know what that is. I will have to look up these things. That many things I know. I know a lot of things, but not these. Uh, so probably it even heals in ranges that I may not even know of to be exact. And um, this herb, I tell you all, is very 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 good. Let's go further. Antiviral. I mean, the list is there. Yeah, y'all can see the list. And then when you're even going to the, well, basically simple nutrients, right? So this you can literally get in your backyard, no at 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 any time. Um. So this is one of the herbs that you'll be, especially those in the countryside. So this is one of the herbs you'll be willing to to grab onto a hole or or let's like say, yeah, grab on, get as much as you can because there's plenty in the forest. Dry them. And put jar, put them in jars or them uh, or bags as thin as this. Let me see if I could help you. Something like this that it can um for space now. It's for just for space, or you can get it in a jar. Uh, either this size, store them, or a smaller size, cause they do dry. When they dry, they get very crispy, and they do um. Over a period of time, turn into powder themselves. So let's go back into this uh, thing. So the next herb you all will get, we want to get, is a herb that you're accustomed, um, you'll always have basically in your groceries, uh, in the supermarkets, the groceries, or even in any herb place, which we know as ginger. Make sure we on ginger root to be exact because it's the root will be dealing with right, and guys for those who are not aware of how good ginger is, and um, just to get on the this is the site that Sebi, um, many of the benefits that that that, that was listed and looked up from Sebi, they put it on the sites as well as the how to put it the um the plants that you could combine the ginger with that are compatible with ginger as you see which is majority of your plants as you all can see that is the reason why i said we used to say ginger tea is very good to drink drink it ginger tea matico tea these things are very compatible with ginger ginger is compatible with almost anything as you can see so <laughs> look at that <laughs> look at that look at that 
the compatibility of ginger is insane. Let me continue. All right, so so most effective against what antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, um, antispasmatic, um, detoxant, laxative, testosterone booster, and C generistic. I don't know. I don't, I don't, you know, me and me and words not too friends. Not too much friends. Somebody works help with that word. You know. As you continue, you see as highly effective a brain enhancer, which is very correct. Af aphrodisiac, very true as well. Antioxidant, antibacterial, uh, antibiotic. Sorry, um, very true. Anti cancer, correct. Especially deal with the um the, the respiratory system, correct, correct. Antiviral, very true. Blood thinner, it does. I'm here to tell you, it does. Immunity booster, yes, it does. Um, off of my experience, because that is one of the things I used to use before. When I used Conatio Negro, I used to use ginger. The three things I used to use, Conatio Negro, ginger, and nettle, uh, which I'm going to go to um, after. And now, I want to surprise you all with some... Um, <laughs> Let me see if I get it. I think I, I didn't press it. I didn't press it. Okay. This is ginger, right? Making sure. The top part which deals with the most effective, like I said, most effective on the top part, acid reflux, the list goes on bronchitis, chest pains, dizziness, headaches, motion sickness, throat irritate, irritability, so like a, um, arthritis, blood thick, blood um, help to thin the blood basically, as, as showed before, um, blood thinner, right? So it deals with thick blood. Um, chest congestion, cough, uh, gastroparesis, okay. I will have to check that as well. High cholesterol level, sore throat, a uterine fiber. Okay, now let go into the highly effective on this side, dealing with this list, which deals with, um, of course, the lower um, issues. Well, I mean, as I say, with more in, with important issues as well. Um, we already read the high blood pressure and whatnot, right? No, well, there's high blood pressure. Okay, as you go, um, angina, asthma, cold. And the list literally goes on high blood pressure, tuberculosis, especially things dealing with the lungs, cancer, diseases, failure, trust and belief, inflammation. The list is here. You can check into the list. Now, effective against. And I feel as though they're under the effectiveness because you would say, oh, it's not most effective or highly effective. It's effective against these. Trust me when I say this, people. Abscess. Ginger takes abscess out in a matter of a week of drinking. Matter of fact, I like four days of drinking. If you're drinking ginger alone, you drink ginger with the, the, the Coronacea Negro and the um, Nettle. And you could even add some thyme to it. And you drink that for the next three days. Don't eat anything. Four days. Your ulcers would go down. Your abscess like yeah, would go down. And your ulcers, to be a stomach ulcer, and ulcers will go away. So the effectiveness of this shows... And, and this is off of my experience, again, off with clients. So, this alone already shows that it works well. Now, I want you to watch the list. Eh? Watch the list. Them saying is this is effective. It's supposed, this is supposed to be very effective or highly effective because abscess goes immediately. Drink ginger for a week or two weeks. Your acne will go straight up. Check it yourself. Your acne will go. Anxiety will go. You know what I'm saying? Many things we're saying here. It's supposed to be very effective or highly effective. Yeah, this these things we're watching here is supposed to be highly effective. Capital does um, capital. Yes, for sure. Circulation will increase by a hundred percent. And look at again. I know you see. I know you see these things. Blood clots by definition gone. <laughs> it's removed. When I matter with a week, a week and a half, or a week, to take that with um, turmeric, ginger and turmeric is a very, a very powerful combination. Cause ginger is a plant, one of the few plants that is known. I can't remember it's called. I think it's um, oh gosh, I forget the name of it. It is known to alkaline other plants. It's capable of alkaline and other herbs. You take ginger, you blend it up. You add any, I say. If, Fruit or herb like moringa that is that's slightly acidic, guess what? That's what, what's going to happen. The, the, the moringa will become alkaline. I don't know how, and when I say naturally alkaline, I don't know how the ginger does that, but off of studies, 
what well, has been shown that are many people who will be using ginger with other other things to, to alkaline the um the product itself you understand to, to, to restore its natural when i say alkaline i mean to restore its natural ph balance my 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 my, my apologies for that not alkaline to restore the ph balance above um above seven that is literally what ginger would do to others so ginger in itself is a very good herb overall and uh, this is not this is this is not even the list the list goes on let me show my thing recording i didn't make sure because last time we cut off by itself so as you can see we're going for oh can i come out and go back into it please thank you why are you doing that i didn't i just pressed the screw right so this is the effective right this is the effective up your slacker work at that of course you could see the cancers um the colon cancer blood cancer yes it does it definitely does colon um i think it's also lungs but it has this going down this this is what ginger deals with i wait to take a good look lung cancer take a good look and watch what ginger deals with gallbladder cancer take a good look and watch what ginger deals with myocarditis Take a good look again. I say it one more time. Oh, this is all this is what ginger deals with. Ginger root by itself. So y'all, y'all have a chance. Now I say, you want to stop piling some nonsense. I wouldn't. I don't really believe in stop piling, but I mean, uh, times like this, I would rather have the knowledge. <laughs> so if I had to go into, if I had to go into the wilderness, you would know what to get, where to get. But ginger, on the other hand, you could grab and dry them make it into powder form or you can use it just so and use it daily ginger is very 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 good right and we didn't even finish <clears throat> one of the things that uh that surprised me was the ginger um the yeah, memory enhancer none that i'm looking for uh not the blood free we know it's a blood free fire um I'll find it. Probably on this side. Nutrients. Look at it. Look at the nutrients. This is literally everything that you would need and to kind of restore your health in a way, if you think about it. Right? So ginger. After the colon to your negro, which is you can grab in the forest, you can get some ginger. Ginger is supposed to be cheap in the um the market or the grocery. Try to get the natural ones because the big ones that you'll be getting is not the, the natural ones. The smaller ones is the local the natural ones, they are much more spicy spicier. And they don't have as much flesh as the big ones would have, okay. So just remember that. And again, I'm showing you all it's, it's compatible with almost every herb we have out here. So people, it's it can add it with almost anything, and it will have a very powerful effect. And watch, I hope you all realize what you all seeing here. Many of these herbs that they could they could combine ginger with is what acid herbs you know, and and spices, and fruits. You could see them. I'm sure you're seeing them. For those who um who don't have that to this earth, nutmeg, a very uh, common spice, but it's not alkaline. It's and it's not it's not pH balance is off. It's it's very acidic. Matter of fact, it's no. It, it is also known as some naked killer. If you, if you take too much, consume too much. Pineapples as well. But <clears throat> they all hold their benefits. At the end of the day, though I wouldn't recommend these these things. I would stick to the alkaline diet. They do do well concerning removing um certain things like spike proteins and whatnot. The the um the the the, the, the pineapples and nutmegs and what what and so on and the turmeric. Which are going to go in next, the turmeric. So the next one I'm going to into is the turmeric. The gin I'm gonna get a picture of the ginger. Um uh, use use an exciter here. Uh, for, I mean everybody's supposed to know what ginger look like, eh? We live in <laughs> we live in the 21st century if you think about it. Um ginger, yes. Um uh, this is what ginger would look like. Multiple pictures. Let me get a, a, a bigger picture to pull up. I'll pull up one of these. It's it's simple. So 
So you see this 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 is plenty ginger. The sliced open ginger and the powder. This is what ginger look like. So it's all awesome. So from there now y'all could get your gingers up and running. Next one it will be the turmeric. Turmeric looks very similar to ginger, but it have a darker sh a shade at times, and the inside is much more yellow or, or I say orange. So there you look the turmeric. Turmeric is very good to add with ginger. The ginger will begin to change the pH balance of it, allowing the, the, the herb itself to be much more stronger than naturally will. Turmeric is something that's also always also known to get rid of things like liver cancer and clean your blood. And look look at the beginning part. Turmeric root cures. Look at what you are seeing here. Tell me what you are seeing here. Liver cancer. I just. Anyways, look at it. So liver cancer. Hold on, I'm gonna get up. So liver cancer. Ouch, my foot. <laughs> right. So I'll continue. Liver cancer, HIV, food poisoning, bone infection, smallpox, um, gout, constipation, and the list goes on. So what I'll do is I'll do our next video. Just now, I want to do our three or four videos today to break down these things. Right. So shallow.